Emotions were running high as crews dug up the Confederate general's remains earlier today. Supporters and opponents of the monument's removal gathered at the site, some of them armed. Eight News reporter Sierra Krug witnessed a confrontation between the groups and someone showed a gun. Sierra is joining us now in Richmond with the latest on the statue's removal. Sierra. That's right, Eric, Deanna, as you said, emotions were definitely high. Tensions peaked around noon, I'd say. That's when a bystander confronted a group of people who showed up to the site wearing Confederate flags on their sweatshirts. Now, this all happened while AP Hill's remains were being removed from the burial site. After hours of digging, crews uncovered the remains of Confederate General AP Hill. They were found underground beneath where the monument sat for around 130 years. To resident Devin Curtis, today was a largely symbolic moment in Richmond history. I feel like the city is trying to do what they can do to make up for all of the mistakes that was made. This was Richmond's last city-owned Confederate statue to be removed. When I seen that statue come down, it showed me how far my city has became. Its dual status as a statue and burial site delayed its removal. The Confederate general's remains will be taken to a Culpeper battlefield, but there's still debate over where the statue itself should end up. AP Hill's indirect descendants challenged the city of Richmond's plan to have it displayed in the Black History Museum and Cultural Center of Virginia. They see it as a family headstone and want to see it join Hill's remains. But Curtis is hopeful the city gets its way. It forces them to go inside of a museum to learn about the other side too. There were moments of silence at the site today, but also moments of dispute. An argument broke out when Curtis and other bystanders questioned a group of people wearing sweatshirts representing the sons of Confederate veterans. I just asked them a simple question. I asked them, I said, what does that flag represent to you? Because to my people, it represents a lot of hate. You better ask them who you're dealing with. A descendant of AP Hill got involved, saying this was not the time or place for this debate. But Curtis says he showed up with the intent to educate. Some people out here understand what it represents, and some people are tired of it too. But um, still got a few people out here that's, they're not ready for their change. They don't understand that change because they fear. They fear their change. Due to an ongoing legal battle between AP Hill's descendants and the city of Richmond, it's still undetermined where exactly the statue portion of the monument is going to end up. We'll continue to keep you updated both on air and online at WRIC.com. Live in Richmond, Sierra Krug, 8 News.